Alrighty, good morning. It's just after 5 a.m. here in Calgary, and we are going to do a practice that has a focus on bridge and lunge, planks, and dogs. So for this short practice, have a couple of blocks, a TheraBand, and a strap. And I might use this little guy of a breathing tool, and I might show my pelvis a little bit, and that's why these are hanging out here, okay? So let's get rolling. You're gonna start by using your block. And there are three levels to the block. Now, depending on the time of day that you are watching this, you might want a lower, you might want medium, you want, might want higher. I'm gonna go with lower because it's just after 5 a.m. So we're gonna start here and just lift your hips up and rest your pelvis on the block. We're just gonna be here and breathe. Really, really easy. And feel how your breath is moving in your body. Good. And then take the block away and then grab your strap. Mine's super long. We're going to take it up holding our hands shoulder width apart. And then we're going to take the arms over the head. So moving the arm bones in the shoulder socket. And just notice what happens with your ribs. Notice if you want to overutilize your upper abdomen. And let the ribs be quiet. Okay, let the strap come to the side. Now take a look at your right hand and put the index finger and thumb of the right hand together like the OK symbol. Same with the left. Bring the arms up, elbows bend a little bit. Now imagine you have a thread between your fingers and pull that wide. Easy, easy breathing. Okay, lovely. Now, for your TheraBand, have your TheraBand, same as with the strap previously. Your hands are about shoulder width apart and then start to pull that wide. So it looks a little like this. Maybe a bit further than shoulder width apart. Depends on the firmness of your TheraBand. And so where you're moving it toward is your arms are straight up and you're doing this. Yeah? But you're doing it on your back. Okay? And think about the articulating joint being the arm bone and the shoulder socket. And just notice, just notice yourself. Look, notice what goes on your wrist. And just notice and be curious about what's going on in your body. Okay, good. Now let that go. Okay, we're going to do all of those again, but on the block. So now, coming back up onto the block, if you're in a position where you want to take the block higher, you can. Just notice what it feels like. And let's start with the strap. So let's take the strap over up on towards the sky. And then arms come over your head.
and just be aware of the breath and how that's moving. Okay, great. And let that come down. Thumb and index finger, elbows bend. Great. There, band. So notice if adding this extra tension has increased any uh, gripping or tension in your body. And just be aware of that. And can you move this with less tension? Sure, it's a bit more effortful, but there's a distinction between effort, in my mind, and tension. Okay, good. All right, now, let that go. Let the block come away. All right, now, from here, we're going to just rock. We call longitudinal rocking. Rocking this way. And then let that go. Okay, now we're going to take the right leg up to the sky, rotate that leg bone, place the ankle on the knee. Really common if you've done this work with me before. Now we're going to move the leg up towards ourselves. So this is all about leg bone and hip socket. I'm not going for my leg. I'm just bringing the leg up. And now from here, let the hands go and just move that leg bone into rotation. This is my right leg. So I'm moving this leg, the one that's bent, ankle on the knee. I'm rotating that, utilizing my butt. Pelvis is quiet. It's just leg bone motion in the pelvis. Good, bring that down. Okay, other side, leg comes up, rotate it, ankle comes on the knee, all leg bone motion. Pelvis was quiet, and now leg comes up. Rotate that leg bone. All right, lovely. Okay, bring that down. All right, so now we're gonna come into a bridge. Have your little TheraBand and the strap close by. Okay, so coming into bridge, grab hold of your strap. Same thing as we were doing. Now, if this feels like it's too much for your body in any part of your body, whether it's from your feet to your head and anything in between, then come back and use the block underneath your hips, okay? Arms are up. Let's take the arms overhead. We're just going to do a few. Good. And then drop the hips. Arms come up. Lift the hips. Bend the elbows. Arms move wide. Good. Drop the hips, there band, lift the hips, arms up and wide. Now just be conscious of this one. This one's got a little bit more effort and I don't want you to feel it in your back or your neck. So just notice where you're taking extra load and ease out of it if you need to. Okay, good. And drop that down. Brilliant. Okay. Let that come to the side. Take a moment of what's going on in your body. And why do you want to make a comment? We're going to roll over and come up into hands and knees. Do you want to make one comment? If you needed to bring your, your legs to your belly, chances are you overdid the work because our, we, we ought not to need to pull the legs to the belly. Um, we, the back ought to just feel easy after doing work like that. So just food for thought that you can ponder. If there's any questions about that, please comment about below, okay? All right, so now we're gonna come into a lunge. Bringing one leg forward, okay? And you got the two blocks here. And the reason why I've got two blocks here is I'm gonna take the block, let me go this way. I'm gonna take the block in front, like so. Watch that mic. And we're gonna move that leg out to the side via the hip. 
foot's gonna come onto the outside edge of my foot, but because of what I'm doing here, this is the articulating joint right here, okay? And then we're gonna come back and then forward. Rotate out, back, good, and then forward. Rotate. So the movement is through the hips and the, the back knee, I mean, and, the, and this knee, but I, wanna, I don't want you to think about dropping the knee out, I want you to think about dropping the hip out. The leg bone and the hip socket. Okay, good, all right, and then other side. Back to a lunge. And then blocks come on the inside, drop the hip, back you come. There you go. Just being really aware and really curious. We started, we actually, we had day two of my 13 week therapeutic yoga intensive yesterday. And I was like egging them on to tell me all of the things they were noticing and the movements they were doing. Everything, like, I mean, egging them on to tell me everything from like the pinching and the knee issues and the this, and we were just doing regular movement. And the idea was, is I wanted them to be aware and acknowledge everything that they were feeling. And then when we made the movement smaller, what they were also feeling. And so the idea here is that we want to be as curious as we can and our signs and symptoms what are, what, of what are going on in our body are merely indicators. They're just whispers. They don't mean anything. They're just objective fact of what is happening or not happening. Okay. Okay, from here now, come onto hands and knees. Okay. And just move forward and back. So moving through the hips, and that's a hip, the shoulder and the hips and the knees. Yeah. We're not here for very long. And then we're going to come up into a hovering knee position. But the, the thing is, I think some people have they put such meaning to how their body is moving or the sensations that they feel. And they make some sensations really wrong and bad and other sensations really good and positive. And in truth, none of them are either. Are neither of them are... <laughs> they're not good or bad, any of them. Yeah? Okay. Lift the knees now. One inch, good, and drop back. Notice if you want to round your back to do that. So you'll notice that I'm just lifting the knees up. There's no back rounding. So I'm going from six points to four points. So when I do that, my other parts of my body have to load. And so you might find that your arms do more load or your quads do more load. And now we're gonna just go back and forth through the hips and the shoulders. Keep the knees down, not like on the floor, but keep them at about an inch. You'll see how I'm not doing this with my knees. Just move through my hips. And you might feel this a bit in your quads. Good. Okay, now from here, let's take one leg back, followed by the other leg back. Good, now we're into plank. And then up into dog. Yes, I'm doing a very, very long dog on purpose. And then come back into plank. I'm gonna just take my hands a bit more underneath me. Okay, and then dog, and then plank, and then dog, and plank, okay, last one, good, okay, knees come back down. Let's come back into a lunge, move forward. Good, and just feel what it is that you feel. Really try not to push any symptoms or signals away from your brain space. And let's twist towards the front leg. Ignoring them doesn't make them go away. And then untwist, and then you're gonna side bend in the direction towards that leg. But I also appreciate 
100% how hard it is sometimes to acknowledge what you feel. I totally get it. And when I do my private series, that is a big piece of the focus, All right? Because so much of what is persistent for the clients who come and see me, little do they know this, but it's under their level of awareness, right? So it's why they've had some gain, but not long-term change is because they're not, you can't change anything you're not aware of. And so when we start to work together, I help them see their movement patterns that they aren't aware of. And then when they see that, they get a lot clearer on how that's correlated to why they feel what they feel. And then when they can clean up that, then they feel better and they have a whole new perspective on how their body functions and what the symptoms and signs are actually communicating to them. So then it becomes one of not being afraid of your body or their body, but it becomes one of seeing their body as a barometer. And the signs and symptoms are communication mechanisms between their body and themselves. And if you don't pay attention to them, okay, come back up again. They just get louder, right? And they start to really appreciate that. And then they can intervene and they really take an ownership of their body. Yeah. Because they, um, they now have, they, they now have the language, they have the fluency and they know what their body is trying to say to them. Okay. Let's come back to plank now. Good. And then let's come to dog. Let's notice if anything's different here. Nothing might be, but also something might be. So just notice if anything is new. The movement back into your dog is just through your hips and your shoulders. My the spine isn't really changing. It's just mostly through hips and shoulders. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, perfect. Come on back down. All right, now let's come back onto the floor. We're going to move these guys back a bit. There's a real power in seeing your body as a barometer, seeing your symptoms as merely a, um, communication strategies. Okay. One knee comes up to your belly, opposite hand to the knee. Let's take a twist because what ends up happening is there's this efficiency in really understanding when you push and when you need to rest and you just get a, a really good feel over what you need to fuel yourself and what, what kind of fatigue you're actually experiencing. Cause there's so many different kinds of fatigue and then come on back up. So when you really know what's going on, that's unique in your own system, then you really know what to do to support yourself and to really use your body and to utilize your system to really have your best life. And I know that sounds kind of hokey and everyone says that about having a best life, but really, it really is true. Good job. And then come on back. All right, lovely. Now have yourself back into this position and just feel yourself on your back and notice what you feel here. What the heck's just happened in your body? All right, let's just do one last one. Knees to your belly and let's roll around those leg bones in your hip sockets. Exhale coming in and then ex inhale as the legs go wide. Okay. And the other way. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Lovely. 
So now notice again what you feel. And then when you're ready, you can roll on over. Or maybe you want to stay lying back on your back. Maybe you want to do something else entirely, like go for a run or do a lifting of weights or just come for a tea. Whatever it is you choose to do next, just take another five breaths before you carry on. Allow you to feel whatever it is that you now feel through your system. Yeah. And I'll see you tomorrow. You have a really, really great day. And if you're interested in any more work with me and you want to work with me on a private level, send me a direct message. We've got a spot available this month. Mm. Take good care.